All right, so this is a demo on Common Look and how to take an untagged document and uh, tag it basically using the power of Common Look. So we start with this sample document and we can see here that the sample actually has no tags available. Uh, so we have to do a couple of things before we open Common Look. The first thing we have to do is open our tags menu, right click on no tags available and say create root tag, okay? Uh, and that's the, that's the first step. And then the next thing we need to do is go back and right click on it and see where it says document is tagged PDF. This sets the status for the document to accept tags as a process. So we're gonna go ahead and select that too. And you can see now it is in fact checked. Now we can save our file. Let's save this. And now we can open up Common Look. We go up to Plugins and Common Look and Common Look PDF. Now, we're not gonna go into all the tools that are inside Common Look for this demo, but I simply wanna show you how you would go about tagging this document using the power of Common Look uh, as a starting point. So the first thing we need when we have this document uh, uh, to tag it is we need a document tag. So if we go over to our tags tree and we right click and hit create document tag, it actually creates a tag for us, right? Now we can go through and start highlighting this stuff and tagging it as an H1 and a paragraph. Let's get that paragraph in there and a paragraph, but there are shortcut keys for everything. So control seven is paragraph control one, two, three, and four are all my heading tags, right? So I can use those with my left hand while I'm tagging this document makes it much faster, but I'm going to show you with the mouse here. So now we're going to go through and we're going to tag this as a figure. Boom. Tag that as a figure. Boom. This is would be a, an artifact because it's just decorative. Now here I can go through and tag each one of these items, these headers as um, as a heading using these shortcut keys. But we have this thing called the sticky button and the sticky button allows me to quickly tag several items in the in, in, right in a row. So now we have sticky button checked. H2 is checked and we can just simply come in here and select these. And as we do it, it's gonna automatically convert them to H2. For this one, we want it to be an H3. So we select that and boom, we can see that it's quickly, very quickly selected each one of these as our headings. Now, we still have to go back and do our paragraphs. So we would be, need to make sure we have our H2 selected and changes back to paragraph, right? And, and it, see how it inserts the paragraph here. And then we can go paragraph there. Now we get to this list and it needs to be a list. So we're going to turn off our sticky button. We're going to highlight this entire thing. And then over here, we have these generate tag from selection tools that allow us to tag a table, tag a list or tag a TOC. And since this is a list, we're just going to click that. And what it did was it created the list and all of the LI items. In fact, it also put the LBL and the L bodies all together in a semantic list, right? So now that we've got that list, we can select uh, common language and then we're going to select this other one and you guessed it. We're going to go back up to list and select that. And then back down here, we're going to, we're going to select our paragraphs. Now I did that out of order. We're going to go back here to what is reverse search, select the paragraph and now tag it as a paragraph. Uh, again, that's control seven if you wanted to use the shortcut key. Now, learn more is uh, our next heading. It's an H3, and then we want to select our image. Oh, did I get it? There we go. And tag that as a figure. And then now at the bottom. So one of the little bugs within Acrobat itself is this little bottom bar. And it's kind of annoying sometimes. So you kind of have to zoom in a bit to kind of get to some of the stuff here. And so I know that it stops right there and I'm going to press control seven, right? And that automatically added that paragraph and then down here, control seven, and then down here, control seven. Now we don't have the ability to insert the actual hyperlink inside common look, but we do have the ability to come over here and click on alt to select the alt text or the actual text, right? So in this case, center for safer schools.org, right? We're going to set alt text for that. And we are, um, 
Actually, we don't want to set the alt text on the paragraph tag. We want to set the alt text on the link. So we have to create the link first. So we do that back over in Acrobat. All right. So for now, it seems like we've got everything all set up. So if we just go back again, walking our tags tree, we just want to make sure that everything's good to go. Um, and I'm just going to close these just to make it easier to see right now. The first thing we notice is that all of these tags are outside of our document tag. So we're just going to drag those up and in. So now they're in the right order. Okay. And then we're just going to walk our tag tree. H1, P, figure, figure. Now we can set uh, alternate text for these images. So over here we have alt text and we can type in S, S, T, safer, schools together right and then uh we're going to uh, go to our next image here and we're going to type in center for safe schools right and as soon as i tab out of this field it automatically checks has alt text Okay. We can set alt text, expansion text, actual text, select the language, lots of properties we have. And this all changes depending upon what object we have selected. There's our H2 paragraph, paragraph, our list, our other H2, and then our, our list again, H2. Now, what if we wanted to change that to an H3? We just come over here to the convert tag and say, nope, that's an H3 and it automatically changes it, right? Okay. We'll go change that back. Paragraph, there's our H3 for learn more, and then our figure, uh, and then our paragraph for our bottom find, uh, visit us, and then our two paragraphs for the last links. Now, we're gonna go ahead and save this. And then we're gonna go over here to standards. And under standards, I can uh, select under the accessibility which uh, uh, standard I want to use, WCAG, PDF UA, HHS, WCAG 2.1. So we're going to use PDF UA because I feel like that's the best standard to use. And then we're going to click on full. And what that does is it runs a series of checkpoints and it gives us a report on what happened, right? So we can come in here to filter by unselect all and select just failed because we only care about the things that have failed right so what we're the first thing we're going to do is we're going to double click on the first one and it gives us this fix wizard that says what do we want to do and it tells us that we need to set the pdf ua identifier so we just hit finish and it fixed it the next thing is it says the highlighted figure tag is missing a b box attribute or is incorrect in other words we manually tag this it needs to know the coordinates for where it is on the page so normally um, we would have to go through a series of fixes inside the actual tag but with common look all we have to do is the fix option is right here for us calculate and set the b box attribute now we could do it individually for each one of these elements of the tag tree but we can also check the box to apply fix to similar issues now when we hit finish watch what happens to our eight uh our eight fixes that we need we hit finish and now we only have five it took care of all of those in the same uh in the same breath so now we have another one let's double click on this it says the placement value of our images is set to block when it really should be or is set to inline when it really should be blocked so again set placement value we have uh, a couple of different options but set placement value is the right answer click the checkbox for apply fix to similar issues and hit finish now we have a couple more things this one says a tag of figure does not define alt text or alt text alt text or actual text attributes in other words we've got an image that's missing some alt text so we've got this figure here it's the qr code so it says provide alt text so we hit next provide alt text tag right we can alt text actual text or expansion but alt text is right and now we can just type in qr code for sst more info right that's good enough and hit finish we don't want to hit apply fix to all right and now this last one says the font descriptor uh for the dictionary um if we mouse over this the font description dictionary for the font contains an invalid value of 250 for the font weight property this is not something we can fix inside acrobat inside a common look Actually, I don't even know if we can fix it inside 
Acrobat, it seems like maybe a custom stroke or a custom variable font was used. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and just gonna right click and go to change status to skipped. And now we are good to go. We'll check this in pack to make sure that it doesn't trigger another warning, right? So now we can hit our save and close button. I, I'm not a big fan of common looks uh, report. I really do like the pack checker report much better. There's our file, hit open. And in fact, we do have green check marks all the way across. So that one little font issue was just some esoteric font uh, validation that Common Look was looking at. So here we are. That's it. That's how you make an accessible PDF from scratch using Common Look. So I hope that gave you a good idea of the power of Common Look in a really simple application to basically go through and tag this document.